Hello, my name's Heidi. I work for the Strong Start team. In this video, I'll be talking about and looking at your emotional well-being during pregnancy. Although pregnancy can be an exciting time for most families, you may find that you're expected to feel happy all the time. The truth is you'll most likely have ups and downs as hormonal changes in your body can make you feel tired, nauseous and emotional. It is normal to experience some anxious feelings when you're pregnant, especially if it's your first baby. You may be worried about the health of your baby or how you're going to cope with labour or a new baby as you don't know what to do. Finances and or work can also be a worry for some people. Your partner may also be feeling anxious about some of these things. It's a good idea to talk about how you are both feeling and how you can best support each other. Some people have dreams about their babies and this too is normal. Your dreams may reflect your anxieties as you're thinking a lot about the changes you're going through. Your midwife, health, visitor and doctor will ask you how you're feeling when you have your checks and it is important to be honest about how you're doing. They're there to help and offer support. Even though it's normal to experience emotional changes in pregnancy, if you feel that you are feeling low most of the time, you need to let someone know. Your midwife will ask you how you're feeling and coping emotionally during your pregnancy. If you've experienced mental health problems in the past, it's important to let your midwife know at your first appointment. Answering these questions honestly will enable you to work together to manage your emotional health in a proactive, positive way and enable you to receive any additional support that may help you and keep you well. There are many ways you can boost your emotional well-being. Some of these are speaking to someone, perhaps your partner or a close friend or family member, even another parent in an antenatal group. Sometimes it's nice to know that we're not alone and that other people also have similar anxieties. Take time for yourself, even if it's just a couple of minutes a day to have a relaxing bath or go for a walk. It's really important to take a bit of time just for you. Looking after your physical health and getting as much sleep as you can can help to improve your mood. If you don't enjoy exercise, just having a walk around the block every day is a great start. Try to get as much sleep as you can, especially once you have your baby. The housework can wait. Sleep when your baby sleeps. Create a support network, just knowing that there are people around that you can call on, even if it's just for a chat or a cup of tea, can make the world a difference. Try to eat a healthy, balanced diet. Not only will this make you feel better, but it's great for your growing baby. When you access maternity services in North or West Northamptonshire, you will receive a booklet called Emotional Changes During Pregnancy and Following Childbirth which provides details about feelings during pregnancy and services which can support you if you feel you need support with your emotional well-being. This booklet gives useful information about health visitors, midwives, IAPT and the perinatal mental health team for women who require specialist input. Two in ten or twenty percent of women experience mental health conditions during pregnancy and after having a baby. If you feel that you're not coping and would like support, as mentioned, speak to your GP, health visitor or midwife. There is also 24-7 support available for mental health on 0800 448 0828. You may also be referred to the specialist perinatal mental health services. For further information on this service, you can visit the website below. Thank you for watching and we hope the video was helpful for you. Feel free to contact the Strong Start team if you have any questions relating to any of the videos. If you have any urgent worries or queries relating to your pregnancy or health of your baby, please contact a health care professional immediately.